Welcome back to capexforextrading.com. Following our previous video on the importance of having a demo account, we are now going to provide instructions on what to do and what not to do once you sign up to your first live trading account. Now one thing that we see a lot of fortunately is people getting a little bit too eager. So once you're used to a demo environment and you are comfortable with the platform that you're using, you're comfortable with your strategies, and eagerness is created to get involved in the live markets. Now that's fine, there's nothing wrong with that, but this eagerness tends to guide traders towards funding their account with everything they've got because they think they're going to make money straight away and they also think that they'll be successful all week or all month. Please refrain from doing this because if you fund your account with everything that you've got, that's where it ends for you. There's no reserve. You don't know how many mistakes you're going to make. You don't know what you're going to forget from what you've been taught. You don't really know a lot at this stage yet because you haven't got the experience of being involved in this real live environment. In the demo environment there was no risk so even though you had the live markets in front of you feelings, thought processes, uh, thought processes, sorry, uh, confidence and other important factors change when you're in the l actual live market for the first time. So you don't know how you will react to really difficult situations to prevent yourself from losing a lot of money. So make sure that you fund your account by 10% of everything that you've got to start with and just do that on a monthly basis so that you get used to the amount of money that you could win or lose. Secondly, you need to control your emotions. Now even though you've been taught how to trade successful strategies, what you need to remember is that you made mistake to, mistakes to get to the point of success and these mistakes can stay in your mind unless you train yourself like a robot. So for example, example let's say that we have a trade with a, with a profit target uh, that's 50 pips away. But as soon as the price gets to 40 pips, the market reverses and drops to minus 10 pips. So your stop loss is, is just a few pips away where it looks like it will be taken out. Now most new traders will exit at this stage because they get very nervous and they don't want to lose money. And in the end, that trade could possibly reverse again back up into the original directions and hit that profit target, hit that original profit target. So just make sure that you let your trades complete. Let your runners run and minimize on losing trades, but let your stop loss only provide a losing position for you. Don't move your stop loss yourself and create losing positions for yourself. You need to apply money management to every single trade that you take. There is no exception to this rule. Use your stop loss and if you have losing trades, make sure that you never double up on your investment in the next trade to regain that loss because mistakes can be made in that trade also. Your eagerness to regain losses could be the culprit to losing the total, capitals that, total capital that you have. But if you only put for example $100 or $200 in your trading account or whatever money you're comfortable with and is relative to your total investment you should be okay and you will learn a lot more effectively this way because believe me when you start winning or losing real money that's when things stick in your head a lot better stick to all your demo account rules make sure that every rule is applied to in every single strategy and every emotional rule that you have mastered is here to stay now that you're trading in live markets. Realistically nothing's changed but the main factor is the use of real live money. That's the part that has changed. So, so stick to everything you did in your demo account and you should be okay. Always reference your profit and loss at the end of the day. Make sure that you know how many trades you've trades you've lost for a start, and make sure that you know um, how many you've won. But most importantly, make sure that you know why you lost and won those trades. Always reference your profit loss and learn from it day by day. The profit and loss will every tra every trading platform has got one, um, and it will display the time and the place of all your orders, which enables you to find them on a chart in an instant. Um, never go 
into the next trading day not knowing what's happened the day before through your actions. So you need to learn from your mistakes because you will make some and always reference your trading account and your trading plan to make sure that you stuck to everything that you know and where you financially stand currently in your trading account. Now what we've done for you on our website is create a list of Forex brokers where you can open either live or demo trading, trading accounts. So if you go to our website which is capexforextrading.com and simply click on this Forex brokers tab that you see here. Once clicked you will see a list of various Forex brokers and each one of those brokers has a link to open a live account or open a demo account. So just have a little look around, look at the information that we provide on here and simply click any of these links to open an account and simply start trading. So this concludes this lesson. As usual guys if you have any qu comments or questions do let us know. Um, if you want to subscribe to our channel that would be great. Also you can follow us on Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn and Google Plus and we shall see you for the next lesson. Thank you.